Pedro Pascal has recently taken the spotlight as he opens up about his rigorous training regimen for his role as Marcus Acacius in the eagerly awaited sequel, Gladiator II. This film is set to transport audiences back into the dramatic world of ancient Rome, continuing the epic narrative established in the original Gladiator, which has remained a classic in cinematic history. At 49 years old, Pascal is embracing a role that demands not only emotional depth but also significant physicality, and his preparation process reveals a remarkable commitment to his craft. In a candid conversation with E.T.'s Nichelle Turner, Pascal shared insights into his training journey, emphasizing that he wasn't under any formal obligation to get into peak physical shape for the film. I was in no single directive from the movie to get in any kind of shape, but I did. Mainly so that I wouldn't get hurt, and it didn't work. I got hurt anyway, he confided. This frank admission highlights the unpredictable nature of preparing for physically demanding roles, especially in action-oriented films where the stakes are high and the physical requirements are rigorous. The reality of injuries in the realm of physical performance is a challenge that many actors face, and Pascal's experience serves as a reminder of the risks involved. Pascal's training decision was largely motivated by a desire to mitigate potential injuries and enhance his ability to perform the demanding stunts that are characteristic of the genre. He humorously recounted a moment during the interview when he reflected on the experience of his younger co-star, Paul Mescal, who described the training as enjoyable. With a laugh, Pascal replied, Yeah, I bet it was. I bet it was fun for him. Maybe it would have been fun for me too if I was 20 years younger. This light-hearted banter not only illustrates the differences in their respective experiences but also highlights the realities of aging in an industry that often glorifies youth and physical perfection. It's a reminder that even seasoned actors like Pascal must adapt to the changing demands of their bodies as they continue to pursue challenging roles. Despite the challenges he faced, Pascal found significant value in his training efforts. I got stronger than I've ever been just so that I can play the character, really, he stated, emphasizing his commitment to authenticity in his portrayal. This dedication to physical preparation reflects not only a strong work ethic but also a deep respect for the character's complexity and the film's overall narrative. Pascal's willingness to push his limits and invest in his fitness demonstrates the lengths to which he is willing to go to ensure that he brings the character to life in a believable and impactful manner. Furthermore, Pascal candidly discussed the evolution of his physical capabilities over time, acknowledging that the process of preparing for such a demanding role requires more than just the drive of youth. I'm definitely getting to the point where I can't just wake up and do stuff like that, so I got ready for that, he admitted. This acknowledgement of the physical changes that come with age resonates with many individuals who find that maintaining fitness and preparing for strenuous activities necessitates a more strategic and disciplined approach as they grow older. Pascal's recognition that he can no longer simply wake up and jump into intense training without preparation speaks to the broader experience of aging, which can be both a humbling and enlightening journey. In discussing his preparation, Pascal went on to describe the comprehensive training and rehearsals he undertook to prepare himself for the various stunts and scenes in the film. I trained and rehearsed obviously a lot to be able to do it. He remarked, highlighting the extensive effort that goes into ensuring he is physically and mentally prepared for the character's demands. This thorough preparation underscores his seriousness about the role and his commitment to delivering a performance that resonates with audiences and stays true to the essence of the story being told. Beyond the physical aspects, Pascal's insights offer a glimpse into the mindset of an actor deeply engaged in his craft. His reflections on the interplay between physical preparation and character portrayal reveal the intricate relationship between an actor's body and their performance. For Pascal, Training is not just about building strength or endurance, it's about embodying the character and experiencing the narrative in a way that feels authentic. This level of dedication is what elevates performances in the film industry and creates memorable characters that resonate with audiences long after the credits roll. As anticipation builds for Gladiator II, Pascal's journey serves as an inspiring testament to the hard work and resilience required to take on such a demanding role at this stage in his career. It reflects a broader narrative of commitment, adaptability, and the pursuit of excellence that many actors strive for. His willingness to embrace the physical challenges, coupled with a deep understanding of the character, suggests that audiences can expect a powerful and engaging performance when the film is finally released. Ultimately, Pedro Pascal's experience in preparing for Gladiator I, I exemplifies the complexities of being a mature actor in an industry that often prioritizes youth. His insights into training, injury, and the realities of aging underscore the dedication required to deliver a compelling performance. As he prepares to step into the shoes of Marcus Acacius, it is clear that Pascal is not merely taking on a role, he is fully immersing himself in the character, showcasing the depth of his talent and the passion he has for his art. This commitment not only enriches his portrayal but also enhances the overall narrative of Gladiator I.I., 
ensuring that it remains a worthy successor to the original film while adding new layers of complexity to its legendary story.